Hello, my lovelies. So we're getting a voiceover today because I was kind of in a hurry yesterday and you know how I am when I talk. So today we're doing the French Peacock Twist. Um, you are going to separate out about ooh, right about a third of your hair um, on whichever side. Uh, I chose separate out on my left because that's what I did. Um, but you're going to separate that out and uh, I'm going to clip mine off so it won't get in with the rest of my hair. Uh, the reason I um, am doing this is I always loved a peacock twist when my hair was shorter. But of course now it's like super long and heavy and I can't really do one. I also love French twist, which I haven't been able to do in ages um, because, you know, I have way too much hair to do a French twist any longer. Uh, my hair is just too thick. You can do a French twist with really long hair, but you need to have finer hair. So any hoodles, uh, I was trying to figure out how to go about that and I came up with this. So uh, with the other two thirds of our hair, we will smooth and we're going to smooth a lot. Uh, I did not do any cutaways of putting this up. So those of you who enjoy that, yay for you. Uh, this is me just fixing my hair. Um, yeah, so uh, what we're going to do is we need a bun under there. Originally, I was going to use JJJ's pretzel bun, but it simply just stuck up too far and it looked a little lumpy and weird. So I decided to start it sort of like a Cinnabon with the twist, as you see here. Yay, twistiness. But I needed it to lie a little flatter. So uh, I pulled it out and I tried to do instead sort of a, an oblong kind of shape. Um, depending on how many curls you want to leave out, uh, you know, you'll do this whichever way. Um, this is me trying to feel, since I can't see, I'm trying to feel what I'm doing. So I went around twice and then um, that, uh, the tail end of, of the second one, I tuck up underneath because I just wanted some little ends left out um, instead of a lot. So here's what I've left out. Yay. Yep, that looks about right. I'm going to clip those to the front just so I don't have to worry about them while I pin. Um, I think I grab my mirror so I can make sure that it seems to be somewhat in the center of my head. Oh, nope, I'm just going to pin. I do shove it up a little bit so it won't stick out underneath. And I am using the big bobbies, my big bobbies, the curler pins for this. Um, I think I only did four. Um, to keep this section up, uh, four will usually hold uh, a bun for me pretty well. So um, yeah, uh, basically you want this to be fairly low profile because we're going to take that extra third and uh, smooth it over so it will look like a French twist. So you don't want it to stick out too far uh, because then we get into trouble like when we try and do a French twist and we get that weird, ugly alien cranium. And I know this doesn't seem like it's um, overly flat, but that's me squishing it to make sure it's oblong enough so it'll still look like a French twist. <laughs> so then I take the hair that it, oh, like, hi, smile. Um, <clears throat> I take the hair that I wasn't using previously, and you want to make sure it's nice and smooth uh, because this, of course, will be the smoothness that we usually get from a French twist. Um, I'm sure I will brush it again. I don't think I realized how often I smooth. Um, I am apparently very OCD about things sometimes. So um, any hoodles, yes, that's me. We're going to smooth it over uh, the bun that we have made in the back, which is basically just to eat up length so we can hide it. Um, and then we need to pin along the crease. Uh, yep, double checking. Yeah, it looks pretty good. See? Yeah, not too bad. Um, and since I know that I'm going to take the tail end of this um, and use it for decorative purposes, I do not have to worry about hiding my pins during this portion. So I just straight up pin them in a line up the crease. I think uh, two going up and then we will have one where it uh, will be going uh, downwards, uh, pinning the top. I'm sure I struggled a little bit with, with that particular section. We will see. But uh, basically, my whole thing was, so then what do we do with this leftover hair that we have? Um, and I figured, uh, since it was based on a peacock twist, 
uh, that we would uh, make our hair sort of mimic the eyes of peacock feathers. I know they don't really look like that, but that's what's in my head, you guys, and I can't help where I get my inspiration from. <laughs> so any hoodles, oh, there we go. I got one pinned down the top. Do we double check so you can see? Yay, good for me. See, just got it all pinned right there on the side. Um, it does look like a French twist from the other side, which is great. Um, so now what I'm going to do, where are you? Get back in frame. Oh, well, first I'm going to move these so it's not hanging directly in my face because, you know, that's annoying. Um, so all I'm going to do with uh, the tail we have left over is I'm going to do a, a tight, smooth twist. Um, and we're going to do rolls with it. Um, think of them as uh, like the beginnings of tiny Cinnabons or what have you. So I am rolling it towards my face. And then um, when I go to do the loops, I think they actually go backwards. Yes, they go backwards so that it will stay coiled as such. And for each one of these, I try and do two, like go around uh, once and then bring it back up for the second time, and then you have to pin everything in. Now, to pin this section, I am using Amish hair pins, uh, U-pins, the straight ones, because they are my preference. Uh, the crinkly ones tend to work themselves out of my hair for some reason. And when I put these in, um, I think each one of these had two to three. Um, I went to start again, but realized I needed to be anchored at the top on that one. Uh, when I put these pins in, I, I am weaving them like you would a hair stick to make sure that they will hold my hair and stay in. Uh, the hardest part of this is remembering which way you were twirling, <laughs> but always twirl towards your face and then wrap in a circle uh, starting backwards. I guess that would be the best way to describe it. So basically, I end up with three of these. Um, Here's the other one. Uh, that would be number two. See, two loops. And then I will pin that one down. And then we'll have enough left over to do one more of those. Now, uh, after you get all of those pinned, you have your hair in the front. If you do not want to curl it like I am going to do, you can just use that and finish making loops to go over the front of this. Um, and then it will just all be on one side because there's enough left to do maybe one more loop. Uh, two if you split that remaining hair in half and do, you know, two separate loops. But uh, I, since I was, of course, inspired and trying to figure out how to do a peacock twist nowadays, I decided I was going to curl mine so that I would have the, you know, the fall part of the hair you leave out. You don't even have to curl it, I guess. You can just, you know, let it spring. But... I ended up going with curls. Here we are, pinning the ends. Uh, the final bit of that uh, leftover hair on that side. Um, yeah, the thing when you have really long hair is you always have leftover hair when you try and do other things. <laughs> so you have to come up with creative ways, which, you know, rather than shoving flowers in your hair, you just make decorative little things with the hair you have left over. Um, it works pretty well. Hope I will get over into frame here in a second. This is me checking things out and then realizing, oh, yeah, you might want to get frame door. So there you go. That's what that looks like, um, which I think is really actually very pretty. Um, and you, as you see from this side, it totally looks like a French twist. Um, and now I'm telling you, oh, this bit that's left over, I'm going to curl these with my curling wand, um, which I did with the smallest barrel I have. And here we go. Of course, I decorated it because you know how I am, you guys. I have to add sparkles, but it's just a few little curls hanging down. So you get the French twist effect, you get the peacock twist effect, and it's all in one with extra decorations. I hope you try it. I love you guys. I will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.